I've more or less been in love with the water all my life. For me, free diving, being in the water, being the competitive person I am, it, it's this feeling that's just so hard to describe. Um, I, I just want to be back in. I'm so much more comfortable in the water and that draw of being able to do things that you or other people, nobody else in the world has ever done. Free diving is basically a very simplistic sport. Essentially, it's deep snorkeling. This is very simple equipment, mask fin snorkel, a wetsuit, maybe some weights. On one breath of air, we enjoy the underwater world and all of its wonders. I met Kirk Kroc actually when I was uh, running a dive center in Vancouver and we were both scuba divers at the time. Shortly after we started training together and he started getting me into free diving, this relationship formed and uh, seven years later we're now married. Our love for the ocean has really just bonded us closer together and uh, we've become partners. The fact that Kirk and I are able to share our free diving adventures and experiences makes all the difference in the world with how well I do in the water and how well we relate to each other out of the water even. Yay! It's something so personal of an experience. It's amazing. It's an amazing synergy that you can't find anywhere else. When I first started free diving, for me it was just being able to see if I could do that extra few seconds of breath hold or extra few feet of depth. I didn't really have goals of being a world record holder or doing any of the things I had done. Uh, but with the help of Kurt Kroc, he kept finding potential in me that I hadn't seen in myself. And through his coaching and my desire to see what I was able to achieve, uh, we've gone on to set seven world records together. On April 29th, 2007, off of uh, the beaches of Grand Cayman, I set my seventh world record in constant ballast with fins. I set a, the new record at 88 meters, or 289 feet. As soon as we're submerged in water, our heart rate starts slowing down. And this is something that whales, seals, and dolphins do hundreds of times a day. And it's just so amazing that we're able to do it too. To get involved in free diving, the best thing to do is to get educated in it, take a course. Um, we teach courses through performance free diving, and you learn all the basics, and most importantly, you learn how to do it safely, so you can do this sport for years and years and years to come. One thing I've noticed with freedivers is that they're a lot more environmentally conscious about overfishing, about how we respect or how we actually aren't respecting our oceans as much as we need to. Um, and that's a really, a really cool thing about the freediving community is that everybody cares so much about the aquatic environment that they're participating in. I, I think that that in the long run is going to make a lot of changes in government and just the way we, what we do with our oceans and what they'll turn into in the future for our children.